It is raining here in Panama. And we have a new crew to introduce to you. <laughs> hey. One of the most tedious jobs on the sailboat is getting the boat ready to sail. Stowing for sea is so important, and done properly can avoid accidents, broken equipment, and broken humans. That picante sauce, that's gonna fly and hit the captain. Those two pineapples right there, those have the potential of flying and hitting the captain. But nobody says stowing for sea couldn't be fun. Definitely. Boom! <laughs> I believe love is the answer. What are you doing? Hey, Mom. See me, Captain. But I'm feeling very grateful and blessed. And it's been really, really beautiful so far. <laughs> raining here in Panama. Big surprise, it rains every single day. But guess what? It's not raining inside the boat. And we have a new crew to introduce to you. <laughs> hey. <laughs> this is Anna, she's from Austria. Actually, Anna, why don't you tell the people at home a little bit about yourself. Okay, so my name is Anna. Um, yeah, it's always been my dream to live in a boat. Um, yeah, and I'm, I'm just super grateful. I feel like a toddler right now that I'm on a boat and I'm super excited to go in the ocean. And um, yeah, I just really can't wait. I feel like this tiny toddler. I haven't felt this excited since primary school, probably. And actually, you hooked up with one of my friends, Maddie and Rick from Sailing Sophisticated Lady while you were in San Andreas, right? True, yeah. I met Maddie and Rick in uh, San Andreas, which was super nice. Um, yeah, it was a very different experience of Sun and Dress as well because Sun and Dress was super touristy around that time when I arrived. It was um, holidays for all the Colombians. So it was very crowded and it was super nice to just uh, be on their dinghy and then on their boat and to kind of get yeah, some time off the uh, crowd. And uh, it was really nice to meet them and to see their lifestyle as well. It was a good intro to Ching's lifestyle as well. <laughs> Alright, you ready to help me out with the boat? I am. What are you doing now? Uh, I was just collecting all the clippers. What do you call that in German? Um, um, she doesn't bangen? speak German. <laughs> She's an imposter! <laughs> what? Where are you really from? You're not gonna kill us and take the boat, are you? Hey, Anna, we need to watch this one. <laughs> Which Anna now? Mm, parece venezolano. <laughs> sí, ayer las, perso las personas de aquí me han dicho que parece um, como una latina. Oh, sí, really? Sí, sí, fue una gran comida. Fiery. <laughs> sí, pero no soy tan exótica. Um, sí. 100% austriaca. Okay, I just came back from the boat show and we are getting the boat ready to go to San Blas today. We have one boat friend that just left and we are gonna be a little bit late because I'm uploading a bunch of videos for Norea, my new editor, and I love her. I just got three different videos from her and they're all great and I can't wait to finish them up and show them to you guys. But first, we need to get the boat ready to go. So, there's a few things we need to do. One, the dinghy needs to come up on the boat. Two, we need to fill the water on the boat. And three, we need to stow the boat for sea, as usual, which that part is pretty easy. There we go. Now you can use that line to tie a, ro uh, a clove hitch onto the b the stern pulpit. Which line? This one. Yep. I mean that's pretty close, but, but yes, exactly what I want, except not the right knot. So let me teach you how to how to do a clove hitch. To the left, X, and then under the under this X, and make two parallel lines under one. Okay. Cool? Yeah. And that it up. Done. <laughs> That's your first clove hitch. It is. You think you'll remember that one? I don't think so. I'm really bad at such... Penalties incur from not remembering knots. I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so go ahead and grab those um, hoses out and um, you can toss them on the dock.
what stowing the boat for sea is going to look like. Anything that could fly off and hit me in the face needs to be stowed in a cabinet or under a seat or on the floor or somewhere where it's not gonna fly off and hit the captain, okay? Like for instance, when I'm looking around, I see that picante sauce. That's gonna fly and hit the, hit the captain. Those two um, pineapples right there, those have the potential of flying and hitting the captain. Um, that water bottle, that soap, those cups, there's, there's a couple things in your bathroom that need to be stowed inside the shower. There's Me too. <sighs> Anna is now stowed for sea. <laughs> it's your job to do the rest. It's a lot of responsibility. <laughs> Especially for your first day. But it's okay, I think you can handle it. Hmm. I believe. Love is the answer. I believe. Love will find a way. Two, three papaya. Perfect, okay. This also needs to be checked whenever we uh, go out to sea. This is a gimbaled stove, so you see how there's a pin right here? The, the, the stove is not gimbling, so you need to pull that so the stove can gimbal. And it should gimbal? Yes, it should, it should gimbal when we're out to sea. Because then we can cook on it. And as we take rolls and as we take waves, the stove will just stay level and, and allow us allow us to cook. Pretty cool, right? Complex. She gets it. I like these new style of ports. They're cool. When I got this boat, it had really old port lights, so I bought all new ports, like seven of them, and replaced them all. And I love the new style. The old style sucks. If you have those old ones, replace them with the new ones. They're like, I don't know, 150 bucks, 200 bucks a piece or something. Okay, Lista, we're ready. We're gonna go on anchor and hopefully we can side tie with Sailing Zephyr and, and um, they want some eggs. I, I kind of want to just take over their boat for a little bit while everything uploads on, in the bar and then we'll bump the fuel dock, grab the computer and get the heck out of here. Our delivery crew for ice showed up. Quieres una ginger? Yes. <laughs> oh, hielo. <laughs> okay, perfect. Una bebida? Okay. Ah, it's perfect for the calor. Boom! <laughs> 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 Alright, try it again, try it again. Every time I leave the boat for more than a week, this thing seizes up. I need a new starter. I paid a lot of money to have that thing rebuilt too. That sucks, man. Wasted that money. So I guess I'm gonna buy a new one. I just gotta figure out which one to get. I tried to refit the boat as best I could and then get, get it going, but like this happening every single time is just not good. I need to take this boat up to Florida and finish the refit. This engine doesn't have a nut on the end, so it makes it a little more interesting to try to turn it over by hand, but it goes this way. I'm turn it so it's off of compression, the compression stroke. Okay, here we go. Now it's easy. I think I heard it turn a little bit, so that's a I good sign. As well. That's a good sign, so we'll just keep turning it a little bit at a time and, until it turns over. Push it. No, no. Yes. Stop, stop, stop. No, wait. Sorry. Hey, you got an engine. Sorry, I scared it there a little bit. Oh, what a pain, dude. <laughs> Can you imagine doing that every time you have to start your car? I don't sail in the rain, sorry. I don't leave in the rain, and I don't leave on Friday. This is Saturday, and it's raining, so we got one of the two, but not the other one. Oh, look at her. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> You're like a wet little puppy. <laughs> it's so nice. <laughs> I love the rain. Okay, rain's letting up. I'm going to get my computer and we're getting out of here. And look at that rainbow. This is awesome. Rainbow. So when you come out of a slip, you got to make sure you don't arc it over. Like if the if the dock is here and your boat's here, you got to make sure you don't you don't turn it because it'll 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 turn boats turn on an axis that's not like a car. 
Cars turn on the back wheels. Boats turn on a, like the center point. So if here's the dog and here's your boat and you turn turn the wheel all the way, you're just gonna go BAM! You kinda gotta come out straight and then and then angle it like this. Okay, we're done, we're out! <laughs> High five! <laughs> <laughs> Ana, ¿qué vas a hacer? Una huevonada. <laughs> Yo, James! Big man! <laughs> wow, that's some good negotiating right there. Yeah. Okay, go up there and give it to him. Where we go? We'll go bitch here. Get closer. Oh. Oh, perfect. Rowdy 5000, buddy. See ya. Have a good time in the sandblast, guys. Spear some big fish. Yeah, I'm on. Okay, girls, let's go over some boat rules. Uh, mainly for you. Ah, ella me ha dicho. Yo primo saltar. Oh, you already said? Sí. Sí. Total regla? No, solo esa. Okay, rule number one on the boat. Don't fall in the water. Very difficult to find. Oh, I can't Rule number two, don't go out of the cockpit at night. As soon as it gets dark, don't leave the cockpit, okay? I, if we need to leave the cockpit, I will do it. It looks very bright, but that's just the light. Uh, I wish you could see the stars because the stars are super, super beautiful right now. Um, yeah, we had a very cozy evening and we're now just riding with the waves. And actually just when we got out of um, the marina, we saw some lightning and um, yeah, a storm arrived in the marina. So we actually just yeah departed at the right moment. I think we're gonna arrive by three, Depends on whether we're sailing or not. If we sail, then we're gonna arrive at 3. Oh, this is heavy. <laughs> we're gonna arrive at 3 <laughs> at 3 a.m. And if not, um, yeah, we should be in San Blas by 11. We're doing 7.4 knots, which is amazing, under motor at 1600 RPM. This is actually where we're going. So the purple line is where we're going, and the little dot is where we are. So we're almost halfway already. And it we says are? we're gonna, yeah, it says we're gonna get there at 10:30. How many hours have we been on the ocean yet? Uh, about two and a half. We left about 4:30. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, it's great. So I think we're gonna be there in like six hours. It's about 40 miles. So if we average six knots, it's about uh, six and a half hours. But if we average seven knots, it's a little, a little bit less. When my first sailboat, I had an island that was 36 miles away. It was Catalina Island in, in California, if anybody's ever been there. I call it Birthday Island, because you get all this free stuff on your birthday. Anyway, uh, I, that was my first like big sail. I was so nervous to go 36 miles. I was like, oh my God, I'm in the middle of the ocean. I'm gonna die. I don't know what I'm doing. No GPS, no nothing, just a compass. And I, I got there and I felt like so good. I mean, that first passage that you take at, by yourself or as the captain is, is magical. Magical. Beautiful. Yeah. How many years ago was that? Uh, a long time. Twelve years probably. Wow. Yeah. And now I don't get nervous for hardly anything. I got really nervous for the passage to Easter Island because I wasn't sure what was going to happen. It was 2,500 miles, which is a little more than 36. But yeah, I don't think I would pretty much get scared of much now. Maybe if I went like down into the into the big waves like below 40 degrees or above 40, they'd probably get a little freaked out. Imagine Captain Cook down at like 70 degrees looking for Antarctica in a wooden boat. That's crazy. Wait, what do you call 
What is polar bear in, in German? Eisbär. <laughs> oh, it's an ice bear. It's an ice bear. I like that word way better. That's a cute way to say it. What is up, my people? So, we made it in last night. <laughs> How'd you sleep? I slept like 10 rocks. I slept very, 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 very well. I didn't notice anything. I felt like I was on some natural drugs. I was on such endorphins. <laughs> very, 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 very well. She slept so well that she didn't hear me anchoring like three times last night. Because when we came in, it was super dark and I couldn't see any of the reef. And uh, I ended up anchoring a little too close the first time. Uh, by a little too close, it was like way too close. I was in like, I have seven foot draft and we were in like seven and a half feet of water. So <laughs> I had to re-anchor the boat a little bit uh, farther out in like 18 meters, and uh, which is very deep. But yeah, she handled it well. And we got in about 1 a.m. and then we're going to meet, meet Plucky in Chichime. So Chichime is the first island in the Sound Blast group. Are you ready? I am very ready. I slept enough. So I'm ready for some adventure. Okay, good. No more sleeping. Time for adventure. So I made black bean hummus, and I'm, I've made this many times, but I think this needs a bit more tahini. So I will go through and show you guys how to make this on cooking with the captain. You know what else it needs? It's just a little bit of picante. Just a bit. What's the ingredients so far? Um, garlic, lime juice, a little bit of coconut oil, black beans, of course. Um, then tahini, salt, pepper, cumin. Oh yeah, it needs more cumin. Just a little more taste, you know? Mm. Yeah, much better. Spicy now. <laughs> that that um, hot sauce that they make here, this is like Panamanian hot sauce. It says, Picante Don Hugo, el mejor picante costeño. Uh, that means like the people of the coast like this the best. <laughs> the best sauce of the coast. It's coastal people. Would you like to try? Yeah. Mmm. Wow, that's good. Yeah. Mmm. That's really good. That's with some crackers or some chips or something. Mm. It's a little bit spicy. That's really good. <laughs> you like it? No, I love the spice. Good. Mm. How are we doing? We're almost there. So this is the third time I'm bringing this thing up. The anchor keeps slipping and we keep getting too close to the shore. I've got it way out here. You see where the anchor is? You, you can see where the chain is? It's going out here. And I, I'm setting it like so it's about 100 feet from each island. And we end up really close to this island every time. But the problem is there's a shoal here, there's an island here, and there's an island here. So I, you know what? I, instead of trying to get close so the girls can swim there, I'm just gonna go anchor. I, I'm getting sick of this. There's a weird current here. It's moving the boat sideways to the wind. It's, it's strange. We've got the, the snubber on. All of the force is gonna be taken by this Samson post. So now we can back up and set it. Make sure it doesn't drag. Hola. Dos meses. Hasta diciembre vamos al pueblo. Oh, sí? Mm. Bueno. Amigo, ahí está el teléfono, eh? Oh, sí. No hay problema. No. Más tarde? Sí. Más tarde o mañana, no sé. No, bueno, a las seis por ahí. Ok, bueno. Bueno, listo. ¿Necesitas más? ¿Ah? ¿Qué? ¿Qué? ¿Qué no, quieres? Para agua, para... ¿Cómo es su nombre? Walter. 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 Uh, he just wanted his phone charged. Cool. No problem. Part of being a good sailor is being a good housekeeper. So this is called housekeeping, where you wrap up your lines every time you're done with them, so they don't get all messed up, so people aren't walking on them. 
put them right over there. And they look nice like that. Look, come here, I'll show you. See, this is what I like. One, two, three, four. I prefer when my boat is clean looking. I like it like that. He's got lots of guts, dude. Holy shit, he just ate something. You wanna see what's in his stomach? So, this, one, this is a female fish and she's pregnant. She's pregnant? Yeah. We just killed a pregnant fish. Well, how was I supposed to know? That's the eggs. Some people eat these. These are really good. I mean, they're pretty good, but I don't eat them. Do you want to eat them? No. That's the heart of the fish. Quieres un poco pescado? Sí. Sí. Hola, an update from our island life. Um, so we arrived on this, well actually we're in between four islands. We anchored and uh, already spent a few hours here. And uh, yeah, it's been beautiful. It's almost dinner time but it's been beautiful and it's so hot. I'm really melting right now, but I'm feeling very grateful and blessed. And it's been really, really beautiful so far. <laughs>